Hi, I'm here to uh, demonstrate the Flex Radio, the Flex 5000, and I'm running the software uh, Beta 2.0.16 Flex 5000. And what you see here is the iPad, the Apple iPad, right here. I uh, I got this here iPad. I'm actually videotaping with the iPhone. I got the iPad and. Uh, I've got the newest operating system on the iPad, I believe it's 4.2 and uh, I'm running a Flex Radio remote so my audio is uh, coming over via Skype so I got Skype here in the iPad, I got Skype on my regular computer and uh, I'm watching it remotely using LogMeIn it's a free app uh, that you can get or you can use TeamViewer, either one and uh, what I'm showing you is the uh, the the pan adapter on the on the flex radio, and you can see I'm on frequency 1.850, and there's some people out there talking, but I have the volume down right now, so uh, so not so you can hear what I have to say without that. So I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, and I'm going to turn it up on my remote uh, remote computer, so I can you can kind of watch what's listen to it and stuff. Meter reading, but the audio sounds cleaner. Over. Okay. So you can you can actually see the pan adapter here, with the people talking, and uh, and that there. So you see them talking. I'll turn it back up again. You can see in the pan adapter how wide they are. Now, uh, see that? My, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take, uh, that person's uh, signal's not real around. strong. You can uh, see over here there's somebody else and, talking uh, over here on the pan adapter. But I guess my main reason, my main reason was just to demonstrate that you can use the iPad uh, remotely and run your Flex Radio, and, and that's what it kind of looks like on the iPad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my system over here to a dummy load. Okay, so I'm going to switch it into the transmit mode and show you how. So now we just switch to the dummy load. You see the whole the whole uh, pan adapter drop down. That's because I switched to dummy load. And uh, actually, uh, I can bring it over here. You've got like a little mouse here in the background. It's on the screen. I'm just going to touch it and bring it over to my, bring my pointer over to my mox button there. You see it's on the mox right there. You should be able to see it. And uh, I'm going to tap it. We should be able to tap it and put it in the transmit mode. Okay. And there you see on the, you see over here in the pan adapter right over here. Uh, hello. You see it going up and down my voice deflections here. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, latency, quite a bit of latency. I'm going to bring up the uh, the keypad here, and right now you can see I have the mouse over here up here activating the uh, mock switch. Let me just drag that down. It's right on the mox. Make sure you can see it. You can see a little pointer on the mox. But now to change the flex from transmit to receive since everything else is set I get the volume control set my gain control set I get to see a virtual keyboard if I just push the space bar I'll go back to the receive mode and there I'm in the receive mode right now there it goes it's just the it's just the uh, latency effect between what you're actually seeing and doing it uh, being remote but you get the idea so if I wanted to transmit now once I have this set like I just showed you I push the key bar again and there you're in the transmit mode and uh, it's actually picking up my audio and uh, it does a very nice job at retransmitting so this is a demonstration uh, I'm actually using I'm using an iPad uh, it's on 4.2 operating system I'm running a Flex Radio 5000 uh, let me hide the keyboard here and the the operating system for the 5000 or for the for the 5000 is a uh, flex radio system 2.016 so it's a beta 2.0.16 and you you see that there that's what it's actually running yeah, I got a phone call but I did want to show you how the uh, how the flex 5000 can be run remotely off the iPad now I also run it remotely off my iPhone yeah it's a little bit smaller it looks exactly the same and the yeah, it's a little bit harder to manipulate but uh, it's kind of fun 
I can uh, use this here uh, any place I have Wi-Fi access or with the iPad it actually has the Wi-Fi built in so I can get this here any place I get cell phone service as long as I get good cell phone service you know I can do the internet over there and I can actually run this remote I use my iPhone when I'm driving in the car I listen to people and uh, if I pull over and stop from here to there I can actually make a contact not on the Wi-Fi but just over the cell phone towers and uh, my reports are coming back that uh, things are doing very good it's sounding good it's sounding fun I'm actually using my own antennas at my station you know, whatever the antenna I leave it on and uh, so if I'm on body meters I'm using a body meter halfway dipole to transmit no matter where I am in my car if I'm uh, on 160 I'm using a 160 meter halfway dipole transmitting instead of a, a antenna on the back of the car I I got the uh, either the iPad or the iPhone, and I can transmit, receive, and uh, you know, versus running a mobile antenna versus the half wave dipole up 30, 40, 50 feet. Uh, you all know what the difference is. There's my demonstration Flex 5000 running remote on an iPad. I'm videotaping it with the iPhone, and yes, I do run the Flex 5000 also remotely off the iPhone. Uh, just something new. I uh, wanted to kind of show you what, what I've been working on. It's not that difficult to do. If I could do it, uh, anybody can do it. Uh, have a nice day, and uh, hope this here gets you using your iPhone or the iPad uh, to run your uh, radio remote. Any software, uh, any radio, amateur radio that runs software, you can put it on a computer screen. You can do the exact same thing. The only other thing I did leave out, let me, let me, let me, I get virtual audio cables. And uh, you can get them free over the internet, virtual audio cables. But if you do, you get a, it comes out with a voice recording when you're listening to it uh, until you pay your, your, your $30 or something for the activation. Once you activate it, you don't get the voice over it. And it actually lets you transmit your voice or the radio uh, through virtual audio cables for the flex onto the Skype. If you're running a Kenwood remote, you don't need that. You don't need that because once you have your Kenwood hooked up so you can run it through the software while you're sitting on a computer, then you just hook up remotely, run Skype, and it runs it good. Okay, I uh, hope it was a little interesting. I know it's a little bit long. Uh, now, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you to answer. But uh, anybody can do it, and if I can do it, you certainly can. Thanks.